We are at the Stafford Speedway for the 22nd race of Season 1 of the SCRL Icebreakers Willem Series. The four car of A.J. Jones, we lead us to the green flag and start beside him, is the one of Anthony Lopez. The rest of the starting lineup for today's race. Points leader Kaka Whiteline will be starting in the 19th spot, and her closest challenger, Ryan Pritchard, will be starting 22nd. This is the third race of the season here at Stafford. In the first race, Eli Bright won that race. He is starting shotgun last place. And in the second event, A.J. Jones, who is ironically enough starting first, won that race. A uh, very controversial race. Uh, we had two drivers stall up at the very start of the race. A.J. went when everybody didn't. He lapped the field, became the first ever driver to win by an entire lap. So A.J. Jones will be looking to get another career win here at Stafford Speedway. We will be returning to this track shortly. The third to last race of the season. We have seven races to go. The championship is still kind of a two-car race between Whiteline and Ryan Pritchard. But you never know what could happen here at Stafford Raceway. And without any further ado, here are the most famous words in all of motorsports. Drivers, start your engines! And of course, the driver who won the last race, Patrick Smith, who is starting... In 16, we'll be looking to become the first driver to win back-to-back -back races entirely, which has never been done, still, in the history of the SCRL Wheelam Series. There's the four, A.J. Jones. Looking to keep his championship hopes alive, I think. I don't even know where he is in points right now. Pace car will pull in. 20 laps is the scheduled distance, of course. It could be extended by way of the green-white checkered rule. And pace car is in, and we are racing here at Stafford Raceway for the third time in league and series history. Off in the turn number one, AJ Jones battle on Anthony Lopez. Down the back stretch, Lopez getting a run on the high side, but AJ Jones dives it on into turn number three. And the turn number four, Anthony Lopez with a run on the high side. And Lopez will lead the first lap. Kind of a surprise there. And he pulls down in front of A.J. Jones. So move the number one car up to P1. Battle for third between Carter Friesen and the 12 Aureus Centaur. Or, oh, got a caution. Looks like Patrick Smith and Sammy Sabri Jr., two former winners in this series, had an incident in turn one. Well, let's take a look and see what brought out the caution. So here's the cause of the caution. Patrick Smith running in the 15th spot. Oh. Looks like Danny Bouchard got a little uh, excited going into turn number one. Patrick Smith slides up the track into Sammy Sabri Jr. who had nowhere to go. And then Sammy Sabri Jr. nails the outside wall pretty hard. We'll take a look at it again from another angle. Let's see. Going board with Danny Bouchard. Patrick Smith is trying to dive down in front of him, but just misjudges and gets taken out by Daniel Bouchard. Right in front of Sammy Sabby Jr. And Sammy Sabby Jr. goes up into the air just a little bit on the right side of his vehicle, but both cars are able to continue on with damage as Sammy Sabby Jr. is trying to push Patrick Smith out of the way. Well, that's the cause of the first caution. We'll take you back to the restart. And we are back. We're going to get this race restarted with 13 laps to go. The 10 car of Sammy Sabri Jr. is out of the race. We still have 24 cars in this race. 
Anthony Lopez is a race leader. Second is A.J. Jones. Third, Carter Friesian. Fourth, Oreo Centaur. Fifth, Marco Telzi. Sixth, Baffo Sacco. Seventh, Cole Nixie. Eighth, Danny Gachach. Ninth, Simon Oskin. And tenth is Zachary Fitzwater. Thirteen laps to go. Anthony Lopez looking for the right time to jump. There it is. Carter Friesian was ready. Going to try and pass A.J. Jones going into turn number one. Can he complete the pass? A.J. Jones is fighting back. This is all happening behind Anthony Lopez. A.J. with a run on the high side, trying to get a run. He goes way wide, way wide, way out of the groove. And Lopez, I mean, Jones will lose a lot of spots because of that. And Carter Friesian is now in second place. Our Thompson race winner, he's looking to double down here in season one. He goes a little bit wide, trying to get a run on Anthony Lopez. Lopez leads another lap, 11 laps to go. Carter Friesian is slowly closing in. Be halfway this time by. You see Carter slowly gaining on him. It's a two-car breakaway. You see Aureus back to fourth. Make that fifth. AJ Jones losing another spot to Eddie Wacumbi. So AJ is still trying to rebound after going wide. And you see Patrick Smith's damage vehicle. He wins one race and the very next he gets taken out by Daniel Bouchard. Of course it wasn't really Bouchard's fault. Our leader goes a little bit wide. Here comes Carter Friesian. Be eight laps to go. We're keeping an eye on this because this is where the battle is for the race lead. Not much of a battle anymore because Lopez pulls away. Single file for the most part. As you see battling back here between Eddie Wacombe, AJ Jones, Sam at Austin, and Cole Nixie. AJ Jones is about to fall outside the top ten. He gets a run out of turn number three. Seven laps to go. Nothing happening up front as Anthony Lopez continues to hold a seven hundredth of a second race lead over Carter Friesen. Here's Riley Sperly Tube. Our Catamount race winner finally picked up his first win after 18 starts. As you see, despite the damage, Patrick Smith has actually gained a spot over Nick Kennedy. That's kind of unusual, but he did it. Be five laps to go. You see Baffo Sacco and Orius go a little bit wide in turn four. As Anthony Lopez's lead is now down to six hundredths of a second. Be four laps to go. If a caution comes out, we will go green, white, checkered. Lopez looking for his first career SCRL Willem Series win. And car number one. Number one has never visited Victory Lane before here in the Willem Series. And about three laps. It will for the very first time as he goes a little bit wide in turn four. Pushing the car too hard. He has a one second lead, so he can he can hold back a little bit in case we go green white checkered. Going back through the field. There's our points leader, White Lion. Not having too great of a day. Two laps to go. Laps are winding down. If we don't get a caution in the next lap and a half, this race will be official. Down the back stretch into turn three, and a turn four. Goes a little bit wide, that's all right. White flag one, lap to go for Anthony Lopez. Started second spot, got a great jump at the very start of the race, has led every single lap. Into turn three, and a turn number four, he's gonna do it. Off the final turn, Anthony Lopez scores win number one here 
at Stafford Raceway. And another dominator here at Stafford. Here are your race results. Anthony Lopez scores the win. Second is Carter Friesian. Third, Marco Telzi. Fourth, Bafo Zacco. Fifth, Cole Nixie. Sixth, Oria Centaur. Seventh, Sam and Austin. Eighth, AJ Jones. Ninth, Eddie Wacumbi. And tenth was Riley Sperly Two. Points leader Kaka Whiteline finished 22nd. Ryan Pritchard finished 21st. We had 24 cars finish the race on Lee Lap. Semi Savvy Jr. was the only car out of the race due to the accident he was in early in the race. Well, that is it for the third race here at Stafford this season. We will take it to victory lane for the very first time here in Season 1 with Anthony Lopez. Here are your points. Standings after the 22nd race of the season at Stafford Raceway. Kekka Whiteline is still our points leader. She has a 128-point lead over Ryan Pritchard. Third is Riley Sperley Tube, 167 points behind. Fourth, Eli Bright, 184 points behind. And fifth, A.J. Jones, 200 points behind. Sixth is Cole Nixie. Seventh is Sammy Savvy Jr. Eighth is Sam Oskin. Ninth, Kyle Hunter. And tenth was Eddie Wacumbi. Eleventh is Jack Legacy. Twelfth, Dexter Black. Thirteenth, Al Legacy. 14th, Carter Friesian, 15th, Evan Hunter, 16th, Patrick Smith, 17th, Zachary Fitzwater, 18th is Stafford Race winner, Andy Lopez, 19th, Daniel Bichard, and 20th is Marco Telsey, 21st, Joshua Rush, 22nd, Baffo Sacco, 23rd, Daniel Grichach, 24th, Nick Kenley, 25th, Oria Centaur, and last is Ace Horsebutt. That is your point standings after the 22nd race to go. I mean, 22nd race of the season. We have seven races to go here in Season 1. The next time you'll be seeing us, we'll, we'll be at the 23rd race of the season at the Thompson Raceway. And until then, keep the hammer down, and we'll see you at the track.